Okay, so this is a little follow-up. There was enough confusion in the last video, yesterday morning's video, that I feel it's necessary to explain exactly what I did, and it totally makes sense. There should be confusion, because there was kind of a critical piece missing from the video, and it made sense to me because I was doing it, but I don't know why I didn't uh, understand that during the editing process. But anyway, here's what's happening. So, that broken gear that was inside of here, that was this gear from the old starter motor. I had to order this part, this is called a Bendix, and it just goes on this shaft right here. And uh, we installed uh, Falcon Auto in North Bridgeton, installed a, uh, a Bendix with a shorter gear, and he didn't think it would work, and it didn't work. That's why it spun that time in the video. It took a couple days longer to get the gear in because of the we got 10 inches, 14 inches of new snow or whatever. And uh, so that is in. And now I'm gonna demonstrate how easy it is to install one of these starter motors. Uh, if you ever end up doing this yourself, just make sure that these bolts, like this will all just pull apart and then all these springs and bushings won't go back together. It's very difficult. So you just kind of slide it in and gently get it past the flywheel and it should just line up like that and then hand tighten once I'm in a little bit both of them oh it's so cold still I can go ways in like that though and then on mine, it's a 7 16th for these. Oh. I should just go inside and get a ratchet, but I'm not going to. Alright, the easy one. Alright, so that's in there nice and solid. And then with the power terminal. Thank you Jesse Cottingham again for making this. He, uh, he custom made this incredibly thick, very, very low resistance, uh, so it's a six volt system, this uh, tractor, and this cable was slowing me down for a long time and now it just starts like a top. And that on mine is a 9 sixteenths. All right, so I hope that clears things up. I, uh, I'm not gonna put this through the stress of uh, testing it right now because I'm almost certain it'll start. Uh, and it was 13 degrees below zero last night. And I just don't wanna kinda uh, stress the brittle metal at this point. So uh, you'll see it running at some point. Um, really easy to install these. You just kinda do it methodically, do it slowly. And uh, yeah, that, that's nothing. Taking it apart was surprisingly easy too, but. Sorry for the confusion, and uh, I, I hope this clears things up. And I also, I, I'm gonna just tack on to the end of this little video, just a, a short video of me putting the forks back on the, uh, the frame for the, the front end forks that I've got on the new 1979 Ford tractor over there. I've been using the frame to hold the plow, which has been working really well with one chain. I might just keep doing that, we'll see. But anyway, i uh, got a couple viewers that were asking questions about them, and so here it is. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you Friday morning.